Hey there everyone, uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to connect MetaMask and the Wallet Connect to your Web3 applications. So here's a quick demo, and which is also live. You can also check the code base. I just opened uh, open the code base as well, guys. You can also check my code base over Wallet Connect. And yeah, so I'm using in this particular, in this particular, in this particular uh, code, I use in actually the Web3 app, which is pretty, pretty amazing. And actually it is also used by Uniswap as well. So let's give a quick demo. So just click on the MetaMask. It gives you the pop-ups. Just connect your wallet, connect it out, and now it's connected. Oh, it's also show us the connected wallet successfully. Click on OK. So now you can also interact with your your smart contract. Okay. So I also attached a very small smart contract just to interacting, uh, just to show the fee how we can get data from these this this thing. So just click on this and it's try and now it gives us the data which is polygon name service okay which is some sort of data into my smart contracts let's disconnect it and let's try to connect for wallet connect okay guys let's go over here okay let's click on it and okay, this it's yeah it's also shows it's not disconnected i also show you this is my screen this is my phone screen guys let's uh gives you a demo for wallet connect. let's click on the wallet connect this is just click on the scanner click on it and yeah, it says connect wallet, connect it out, and now it says connection successfully. And now, as you can see, this is my the same wallet which is here, and this shows here. And just like the data, and now it again shows the data. <coughs> so, guys, yeah, it's pretty much interesting to uh, see that now you can also also connect wallet, uh, wallet connect, and the MetaMask media website. If you just want to disconnect it, again disconnect it. Click on the any of the wallets, and now your users can easily connect with any kind of wallets uh which wallet connect supports like there are so many wallets you can you can read more about in their documentations but yeah so yeah so let's go a quick uh a uh, quick demo of the code base like how the code base are working and and as i as i already show you the code the code is live you can trust everything on the live version of it and yeah so yeah so so the main thing is uh, inside this is very this is very simple uh nexus application and there's nothing I added instead of uh, just adding four packages, the ethers for interactivity to your app because ethers library I'm using and with 3 react for code, you have to use the code library and the injected connectors and the wallet connect for MetaMask and wallet connect connectivities. So let's go and jump to the index.js file. As you can see, it's a plain simple Nexus applications, but I just wrap it around the provider, which is called the web three react provider. It is coming directly from the with three react code libraries and this actually wraps your application so that now you can use your web three react with three react stuff so that's all about this lab, uh this uh this 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 piece of code and the main thing is actually the home.js module guys so this is actually everything is happening inside this component and you can use it any uh, like anything uh just for simplicity guys i didn't use any kind of front end uh css kind of frameworks like uh tailwind or any other thing so it's pretty straightforward for anyone to just clone this repositories and start working from there i use very simple like css things inside inline itself uh yeah it's pretty straightforward so as you can see this is the card uh card style which is a the grayish color as i just give it and these these are the buttons as you can see these are the button styles which i give it to here yeah. So, so, okay. I imported and yeah, so there's also one very interesting, uh, interesting, uh, interesting, uh, code base, which is called the, the truncate the address, as you can see, the addresses are pretty long. So they are pretty long. So yeah. So that's why I just truncate into the, the chunk of it. And that shows, okay, these, this is your address. So that's why we're using this truncate address. And this is actually, you can use this particular piece of code just to convert to the hexadecimal of your number. So yeah, so that's a piece of code. You can use it. And now let's jump into the home.js file. So yeah, as, as you can see, I'm using everything, which is, I just import everything libraries, chain ID as the main feature. This is chain ID thing. This is chain ID, the accounts activate, deactivate. And yeah, I guess I'm not using active function, but yeah, this pretty much coming from the web three react module. I uh, using the state for actually, as you can see, this is actually when I try to get the data, this is the state variable. I use it polygon name service. So that's a state variable and the loading, as you can see, it, it is, it first shows the, it first shows the getting data. So that's what it's all about state that it shows that, okay, the, the actually, 
the function is calling the smart contracts. That's why we need it. And uh, these are the two. Uh, the, uh, this the uh, these are the two uh, two function which we just provided. Okay. Basically, what happens whenever we try to connect to the wallet, as you can see uh, in the three React, as you can see, it actually injected uh, what kind of provider it uses. Okay. So when I try to disconnect it, as you can see, it becomes undefined. And when I try to connect with Wallet Connect, it shows the provider is equals to Wallet Connect. Uh, wallet connect just to keep track which kind of uh, which which uh, wallet i used uh, to connect to their applications okay so that's it and whenever you uh, whenever whenever when if and when you when you disconnect the wallet it's basically uh, set it to undefined so this is a function which actually uh, actually do uh, do that task for us okay so that's the thing is and the refresh state is again uh, is actually for refreshes the everything state local variable if there is anything again we just just want to do this this is actually provide the set this is actually set provider it's actually setting the states which is basically the injection thing and base when we disconnect it it's undefined it and that's where the undefined are there okay so that's very straightforward uh one line functions and yeah as you can see this is a disconnect functions and we are calling the refresh state just to set the state this deactivate this is again coming from the web3 react just to deactivate every kind of stuff into the wallet and set name as just to make it again empty so we can use it again at the next time because set name is actually a variable which 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 is basically the global variable so yeah so just whenever we disconnect it we just uh, reset it to the undefined okay so that's these are the three functions and yeah set name is just that and now that's a get data function. So let let's come to this functions later on because that's a uh, that's a straight function which uh, basically when we call this functions is actually calling the smart contracts. Just leave it for a while. And now this these are the two functions which which are very important. And this is for the connect wallet and this is for uh, the connect wallet connect. Okay, so this wallet connect function. So okay, what I'm trying to do is as you can see the the activate is coming. Uh, the activate is coming from the three D app. Okay, and it ex and it's accepted a parameter which is called connectors so this is the main file guys you have to figure uh, uh, which you which you need to use to, uh, to connect to different networks uh, different networks and the different wallets so as of now i just use uh, the two wallet which is the uh, sorry, wallet connect and the injected connectors you can you can explore the docs of f3 react how what are the different kind of wallet it support supports but most of the time uh, these two wallets are working most of the time yeah so that's why using it so yeah, in injected connectors in in, in actually Web three, there are, I support I try to support only three networks, but you can add more uh, more networks. So just go to this uh, the uh, straight website which is called the Chainlist. I guess Chainlist or Tuarg. I think it's the name of the website. Yeah, Chainlist or Tuarg. Search for your network and just put in the the chain ID for that particular network which you want to support, and it starts supporting it. Okay, so just open the test nets. And you can search for any kind of let's say four, so four and all those things. Yeah. So basically our drums, any kind of networks. Uh so yeah. So that's what is it about. And okay. And second thing is whenever you try to connect your wallets, you need an infuler key. Okay. So whenever you try to connect your wallet, your applications, your dApps with wallet connect, you need an infuler keys, guys. So for infuler key, just go to the infuler.com, infuler.io, infuda, just search for the infuda. This is a website, this is uh, this is the website which we are using, and just make your account. Just uh, just make your account. Oh here, yeah, okay, just okay. I guess I guess I just log out, log it out. But yeah, uh, so guys, yeah, just have to log in. You got the project ID. Take that project ID. Take that project ID. Come to this folder which is env dot example. Rename it to the env dot local and set it to your something your project id which is maybe something like that i don't want to show mine but yeah so that's pretty much uh to actually see so this is uh, this is very important step uh to connect your your uh, your dApps with wallet connects so yeah that's that's very important and uh, yeah so if you want to connect as i say mainnet which is one three is for ropes 10 and four is for ring to be so whatever kind of networks you want you just need to create a library let's say if there's six just name it Infura ring to be it's to be ring to be whatever the name is let's say xyz dot infura dot io version three and your infura key as simple, simple as that. and yeah this is a uh, this is a code base which and if you let's say if you don't want to show the qr codes for some reasons you can just make it false and it won't show the qr code for the uh, for the wallet connect so yeah so let's do it while and just let it out and just again come back to this 
and let's detect okay so as you can see this is activate functions and it's try to call this connector dot injected okay and by if there is any reason by any reasons which is if there's any kind of error it shows the okay connection rejected and connection rejected and as you can see let let me show you this error is, is it coming or not so let's come over here disconnect it let's try to meta mask and for some reason okay 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 i just i guess disconnect it and let's connect to the wallet connect and as i said okay i just disconnect i don't want to connect with wallet connect for some reason i disconnect it and now it should show the wallet connect thing okay i guess this is is not working but yeah uh okay okay i'm not showing actually the wallet connect things yeah okay no problem i guess there's some bug but yeah we can figure it out later on so uh, whenever uh, when whenever there's an error, it, this function piece of code runs, and if there's no error, okay, if there's no error, it shows the injected as as I said earlier, set provider is actually a uh, actually a uh, uh, actually a state variable which uh, which pushes uh, the set provider to injected and gives us the the connector word. Set actually provider is set to provide it to the local storage which is injected in the case of MetaMask and Wallet Connect in case of Wallet Connect. So it accept it accepted types and just added to the Wallet Connect. To the local storage for caching and everything, and yeah, use effect. And if for the for just simple use effect, just if, if there's any if there's any already if there's a provider if there's any kind of provider already exists, it 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 pops the it pops the message 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 for us for yeah. So that's it. And yeah, that's that's pretty much straightforward. Uh, from this, I guess this is very simple. Uh, JSX. I just write a very simple JSX. Very simple styles card as i already showed this is very straightforward very simple card style and the button styles which i already show you guys these are the two things but you can design whatever you want if you want let's say pop up click on a button shows the model show these kind of card and from there you can move on from there so the, the sky is the lim limit here but pretty much ux is done ui is is not very dope i know but you can do a lot lot better things with this particular code uh and i guess now now you're complete up and running applications which which support both metamask and the wallet connect and uh, thank you for watching uh this video guys and by any chance if you love this video love this demo love my code base just go to my github uh please like please star give it give it the star like my video and you can also follow me over twitter and i also already provided the links and everything in the description section and uh, yeah also you can also subscribe my video i i try to create a lot of videos in web3 in javascript and whatever in technologies but yeah core focus is on web3 and javascript so okay i guess hope so guys you enjoyed it and if you like it please please uh, give the thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching bye bye